Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be here on Way of the Hunter and we're just going to be back out here on Tika Moon Plain today doing a little bit of exploring. But first off, I wanted to go ahead and show you this cool trophy that I just found. It is a two-star mature albino cape buffalo. So they've actually gotten really close to me right here. So I might go ahead and get my gun just so we can actually take him down because this female is more than likely going to spook um, if she gets any closer. So I spotted them as they were over here to my right and I just like kind of waited for them to move towards me and they ended up getting very close. And then, yeah, they were just right on top of us. And we're going to be getting attacked by this one. That is just fantastic. I figured that might actually happen. Um, and, of course, I did not want to do that. And there goes. That's our albino right there, actually, I think. Or maybe it's not. I don't even know at this point. Um, but he definitely looks like it. Yeah, that is him. So, yeah, there he goes. Two-star mature. I went ahead and just shot him because he is a two-star mature. He's probably not going to get any bigger. And he'll probably just end up dying off. So that other one is going to be fleeing. She's not going to be attacking anymore. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And there he goes right up there. He's probably going to lay down, actually. So what we might do is actually just go ahead and get the 300 back out and get another shot on him because sometimes they will just lay down like that. So let's go ahead and just put him down. Um, he's probably going to be about 100 meters out. So let's take that right there as I have to reload. So we'll go ahead and do that really quickly. Now let's go ahead and take him. So let's see, we'll go for that, and yeah, just hit him again just to get him down a little bit faster. Let's get up here and let's get him. There's no doubt that this guy is an albino, he has the pink nose and the blue eyes. Let's go ahead and get him picked up. So as you can see up there in the top left hand corner, it says Cape Buffalo, and then right below it, it says albino. But the first shot here looks like we got into the left lung, and that is pretty much it. We were very close to getting the right lung, just a few inches from it, but overall it was a good shot. It was at 73 meters right there. I think we were zeroed for 50. The second shot, it was at 120 meters, and we just hit the bone, it looks like. That's unfortunate. Um, I really shouldn't have took that shot, honestly. I thought I was aiming a little bit lower, but he did go down from the long shot. So 52.4 on his genetics. He is a two-star mature, and that is why I felt comfortable taking him down. He wasn't mature. He probably wasn't going to last but another day or two. But yeah, total sale price, 689. We're not going to sell him. We are going to tax him. Let's get a few screenshots and everything like that and just get a better look at him. And they look just absolutely incredible. When I first spotted him, I honestly thought he was just really old looking because he was more gray from a distance. But as he got closer, there was just no doubt that he was an albino from the pink nose. And then he just got kind of lighter and lighter as he got closer. But yeah, they look really good. So got a few screenshots there. Let's go to the trophy score really quickly. He will be a 386.0. So let's get him taxed and let's officially start this hunt. I will take him to the lodge at the end of the video did go ahead and reset the time. We had shot our albino cape buffalo right over here, and I was heading up there to that outpost, but I figured I'd just come back down here to this campsite, and we'd head just kind of in this direction, so I think we're going to go to this outpost now. So let's go ahead and mark it with one of these marks, and we actually have some hyenas up ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. So we have some one-star adults and one-star youngs. That one-star adult's over there on the edge. I'm going to try to find one that's actually giving us a good shot, and that guy is. He's going to be standing there. He is walking right now, but we should be able to get him. He'll more than likely stop here in a second. There's actually some warthogs over here to the left somewhere. There they are. I don't think we can spot them with the binoculars right now anyway. So let's focus on getting this guy. So he's 247 out. We're zeroed for 200, so we should be able to get him here. We'll take that, and that should be good. So yeah, he is going to be kind of staggering there, and he's going to be starting to stumble and everything. He is not going to be going too far. So the warthogs, they're still just chilling. We'll get over here and get the hyena, and then we'll take a look at them and see what we've got. I accidentally spooked off those warthogs, so there were some 1-star youngs and I think like one 1-star one adult, but that was pretty much it, so we're not going to worry about them too much. If we come across them again, that's cool. If not, it, we're not going to worry about it. So here we have this guy, let's get him picked up. So got him in the left lung and the right lung, and that was actually very far back and then very low as well. So 240 meters on the distance. We were 0 for 200, so we probably could have upped it to 300, honestly. Um, but got him there, he did go a little ways, but not too far. So 61.89 on his genetics, he is a 1-star adult with a total sale price of 138 and then a trophy rating of 419.5, so let's get him sold. We've got a lot of animals in this general area that we need to take a look at, so starting off with this pride of lions, we have a 3 star mature right there, so that's the biggest lion that I've actually seen since getting Tika Moon Plains, so I'm going to leave him out here just because we do have a 2 star mature, got some 1 star youngs, 1 star adults, stuff like that, so we're probably going to take down that 2 star, like I said. But we've got other animals over here, so there was a warthog, and there he is right there. He is a one-star adult, he is just by himself. But then we have a herd of springbok over here, so I didn't actually spot through these. Got a two-star mature right there. Um, I'm actually not going to worry about them too much, because we do have another herd right over there that we can kind of take a look at. And they shouldn't spook. This one on the right is probably going to spook, but we should be fine with the one on the left. 
So our 2-star Mature is going to be right behind the 3-star. We don't want to hit the 3-star if we can help it. So let's move over here just a bit to the right. It looks like the 3-star is going to start moving, giving us an opportunity to take down the 2-star. So let's go ahead and get him. We'll switch to the 300 here. Got to wait for this gun to reload, of course. So I'm sure he's going to end up moving around because that would be just my luck that he would not be in the same spot once we get ready to take him down. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. He is still there. He's about 250 out. We'll zero for 200 here. We might zero for 300, I think. Let's zero for 300 and see how we do. So we can go for that and should be good. Might be just a little high, but overall should get into the lungs. So let's see. That herd isn't spooking. They might. They are kind of alerted right there, but they should be good. And this herd actually didn't spook. So let's get over there. We'll take a look at them. And then we'll get over there and take a look at that other herd. Now that guy is a really big springbok. He is going to be a four star mature. So they ended up going behind the bushes right here. So I had to wait on them for a little bit. But there's our two star. So we're going to get him down. But I'm definitely going to keep an eye on that four star in the future. Just to see if he becomes a five star. So let's go ahead and get him before he decides to end up fleeing. Um, so right now the wind isn't the best either. So I'm hoping that doesn't end up spooking him. They've been going alert here and there as well. So he's about 50 meters out. He's going to stop right here and we'll take that. Should be a hard shot it looked like. So that other herd, I think, yeah, is still over there. They're about 280 to 300 meters out. So we got those over there. We'll take a look through them as we get over there. And then we actually have some others that I saw just off in the distance. So there's just tons of springbok over here. Plus, we still need to get our um, lion. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy. And that's actually going to be that pride of lions right over there. Might be able to get another one, like a one-star adult, um, once we kind of make our rounds and get these springbok. So here's this guy. We did get him in the heart with a lot of cavity damage just right above it. We got him in the left lung and the right lung. That was a fantastic shot. It went through him and just out the other end right there. Just beautiful shot. So 51.56 on the genetics. He will be a two-star mature with the total sale price of 220 and a trophy rating of 333.0. Let's get him sold and let's get over here and let's take a look at this herd now. Now that guy right there, he is a three-star mature. So I'm going to leave him out here right now. I thought about maybe taking him down. But I think we'll just leave him and see what kind of happens. I don't think he'll be a 5-star, but there is a slight chance, I guess you could say. So we do have a 1-star adult over here somewhere. So he popped up there for a second. I think he's the one that's going behind the bushes. So that's kind of unfortunate. I've been trying to actually get these things to kind of just stand still. They went alert, and now they've just been kind of running around. So yeah, we're just over here in between them, and then we also have some blue wildebeest just back behind us here. So let's see, where did they get to? They were kind of down there in like a little creek or something. And I think, yeah, that's them way over there, so they've moved down just a bit. There was a three-star in there as well, and then also a one-star adult. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and see about getting one of these down. I want to get the one-star adult if we can, because the rest of these are one-star youngs. There's also a two-star adult in there to kind of keep an eye on. But, yeah, I guess I'll just let you know when we get a good shot on him. He is actually this one right here, so it took me a little bit to actually find him. I didn't even know he would came back out or anything like that. But he is down now, so those wildebeest, are they going to flee? They did move down quite a bit, as I said. So it doesn't look like they're going to. We also have the springbok. They are alerted, so yeah, I didn't really spot through these. They were kind of off in the distance, as we saw. Let's not worry about them. Let's get over here and we'll get this guy. We've got our one-star adult right here. Let's go ahead and get him picked up. So got him in the left lung and the right lung right there. Fantastic shot. The 30-06 just drops him on the spot. Um, but 61.33 on its genetics, he will be a 1-star adult, and his trophy rating is 269.0. So we have that other little herd over here, they just ran past um, somewhere over there, I'm not even sure exactly where they got to. Um, I'm not going to worry about them, just because I want to go pick up this lion, we'll just see what else we kind of come across. And finally, here's our lion, so if I remember correctly, he is a 2-star mature, so much stuff has happened since we shot this guy, but got him in the left lung and the right lung. So it was a little bit high, like I said it was going to be, um, just because we were 0-300. to 300. He was at a distance of 252, but we did get him right there, 61.29 on his genetics. He was a two-star mature with a total sale price of 779 and a trophy rating of 445.4. Now right up ahead, we have a herd of greater kudu, so I don't think we actually took one of these down in the first video that we did here on Tika Moon Plains. I saw like two herds and that was about it, and they spooked off both times. But we have a two-star mature in there that is actually really decent looking. He's got some really massive horns on him. I think we're going to take him down, but I am concerned that maybe his genetics are really good. But since he is a 2-star mature, I just can't see him being a 5-star. Got some 1-star adults, 1-star youngs in here as well. They're pretty tiny looking. And then over here we have some Gims box. So as long as they don't spook, we will actually take one of these down as well. I don't think they're going to. They're almost 300 meters out. So let's go ahead and let's get the big guy down right there. We'll get the 300. I think that'll be the right class for him. I'm actually not sure about him. Um, I think they're probably class 6, so if I had to guess. But let's go ahead and get him. As long as they're not going to be in the way, we should have a clear shot right here. And he is going to be turning. They are kind of alerted right now. The wind is absolutely terrible. 
We're already zeroed for 200, they're 200 out. So let's take that shot and should be good on him. And yeah, he's gonna do that little turn right there and he is already gonna start stumbling. So it doesn't, doesn't look like he's gonna get very far whatsoever. He is gonna be going down. So those Gimsbuck, they did end up spooking. So that's kind of surprising. We'll just go maybe chase them down here a little bit, but let's go get over here and let's get this Greater Kudu. Now here we have our two-star mature Greater Kudu. You can see those horns are just absolutely massive. Let's get him picked up. So got him in the left lung and the right lung. He was at 199 meters. So good shot on him for the most part, a little bit high, but got into the double lung and went out the other end and 59.23 on his genetics, so he is a two-star mature. I thought maybe it was gonna be a little bit higher than that because I have seen some two-star matures that have had really good genetics on different maps, um, but this guy, he's on the lower end, or kind of right there in the middle, he's decent. So total, total sale price is 623. Let's get a look at him because like I said, I don't think we took down any others in the first video that we did on Friday. So let's get a few screenshots and everything like that. I've took screenshots of every new species that we've gotten so far. So yeah, he looks really, really good, I must say. So let's go to the trophy here. 385.0 will be his trophy score. And here we have that herd of Gimsbok. So the only one that I saw that was really worth shooting is that guy right there. He is a one-star adult. So let's go ahead and get him. And the rest of them are pretty much just like one-star youngs. And then that is about it. That will be a good shot on him. Um, should have been anyway. So let's get down here and we will get him. Let's see. Where is our marker for this um, outpost? It keeps sleeting it there. But we're not too far away. We're about 1.2 kilometers now. So let's get over here and get him. He's going to be stumbling right over there. And right up there, we do have a Pride of Lions. We are going to be taking a look at those here in a little bit. But here we have our Gimsbok. Let's get him picked up. So got him in the left lung and the right lung. Also did a ton of cavity damage to the artery right there. But 61.8 on his genetics. He will be a one-star adult. And I feel like most of the animals we've shot today have had the 61% on their genetics. So that's kind of interesting. But this guy, total sale price is 400 with a trophy rating of 246. Let's head up there and let's take a look at these lions. And here we have this Pride of Lions, so right there is a 1-star Mature, that's going to be the one we take down, there's actually quite a few like 1-star Adults and 1-star Youngs, but he overall is the worst one. So as long as he doesn't start trotting like they are doing right there, we should be able to get him, and I do think he's that one right there. So it says they're about 200 out, so we're going to take that shot, hopefully it was good, it might be just a little bit high. I really hope it isn't a bad shot, um, so hopefully we got him, let's get up there and we will just see. I am actually very surprised we got a good shot on this guy. I was very concerned that we didn't, but we got the vital blood down there. Let's get him picked up. So got him in the left lung and the right lung, and that was actually way better than I thought it was. Um, I thought we hit like high into like the spine or something, but no, it was a double lung shot with the 300 at 187 meters. So they were a little bit closer, but 35.63 on his genetics, he is a one star mature. So yeah, terrible genetics on this guy, but total sale price is 749 with a trophy rating of 417.1, so it seems like lions are the way to go if you're trying to make cash, because the one we took down earlier, he also gave us 700. And right up ahead, we have a herd of Cape Buffalo, and that one that we're looking at is a one-star mature. So we're gonna go ahead and take him down. We got some one-star adults and then one-star young over there as well, but that one was the best overall to take down. So looks like we are getting charged um, potentially here. I don't know if these are charging or if they're just coming this way, but um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see what happens here, I guess. So this one is definitely charging, looks like. I'm not going to shoot it just because I feel like we'll just mess her up, and I really don't want to have to track her for um, a long time. So yeah, she's going to end up getting away, and the rest of them are going to be fleeing there. So it looked like maybe they were charging at first, like half of them were, and then they just ended up fleeing. So there's our one-star mature, looks like he is probably going to lay down, and my controller just disconnected, so that's pretty cool. I'll have to go ahead and get my other battery. Let's get over there, and we'll get him, though. I got a new battery in my controller, and here's our one star mature Cape Buffalo. Let's get him picked up. So got him in the right lung right there, and then that is it. Looks like it stopped just right before it got into the left lung. So 12.74 on his genetics. He is just absolutely terrible in the genetics department. One star mature with a total sale price of 830 and a trophy score of 302.0. So um, the Cape Buffalo also seem to be really good money makers if you're hunting here on Tika Moon Plains. The Lions and the Cape Buffalo are really good. So we do have an animal right up ahead. We're going to go see what that is, and um, we'll just hunt a few more animals after that, and then we'll wrap things up by taking our albino cape buffalo to the lodge. We've got a herd of four Gimsbok up ahead, so we got two females over here and then two males. The first male is a one-star young, and the other one is a one-star adult. So we are going to go ahead and take him down. Now, the animal that we saw um, as we were coming over here was a um, one-star young gray kudu, so I figured we wouldn't worry about him. And I'm not even sure exactly where he got to. He just kind of took off. So yeah, that's the one we won, I'm pretty sure, right there. So he's 200 meters out. We'll stay zeroed here for 200, and let's take that shot. So it might be just a bit high, and we'll take another shot. Just for good measures, but he should be going down. So here's our one-star Gimsbok. Let's get him picked up. 
Got him in the left lung and the right lung right there on the first shot, so it was really good. A little bit high, but got him in the double lung, then it went out the other end. And the second shot looks like we just hit nothing right there. I thought maybe we'd get into the lungs, and we were just a few inches away right there, as you can see. Very, very close to getting into the lungs, and wow, we can actually zoom in pretty close to this. Um, but yeah, so we probably shouldn't have took that shot, but we did. I um, wish it would have gotten to the lungs, but 24.33 on his genetics. He is a one-star adult with a total sale price of 308 and a trophy rating of 235.0. So let's go ahead and hunt maybe two more animals or so. We're actually um, on the border of the map right now, here in the bottom left-hand corner, so we need to kind of keep an eye on that. Let's see if we can find two more animals, though. And there we have a lone spring buck. This guy is a one-star adult. We're going to go ahead and get him down right here. There's also a couple of honey badgers over there to my right, but we're obviously not going to take them down. We do not have the right guns for that. So he's 160 out, we'll zero for 150. And we should be able just to take that, and yeah, the 30 odd six is gonna drop him like that every time. It's definitely the wrong class for him. But let's get over here and we'll get him picked up. And let's go ahead and get this little spring block picked up. Got him in the right lung, and then that is pretty much it. Did a little bit of cavity damage to the left lung, but it went in the right lung and then just out pretty much the front end right there. But 27.53 on his genetics, he is a one star adult with a total sale price of 148 and then a trophy score of 242.0. Let's go hunt one more animal and then like I said, we'll wrap things up, we'll head to the lodge, we'll find a place to put this albino cape buffalo. Taking down one of these cape buffalo I think will be the best way to wrap this hunt up considering we did start things off with a cape buffalo. So we do have a one star adult right there that I think we're going to get, but we also have a four star mature over here to my left. So that's something we want to keep an eye on. They look absolutely massive. I want to see what a five star potentially looks like. So let's see, where did our one star adult get to? That's going to be him right there. If he steps out just a few more inches, we should be able to get him. But there was some one star youngs and stuff like that over here. There was also a herd of Gimsbach over to my right. But I figured we'd take down one of these Cape Buffalo. And considering there was a four star, I figured I had to show you that. So 100 meters out, we'll zero for 100 and we will take that and we will drop him on the spot there. So it doesn't look like any of these are going to come at us. There's the Gimsbach right over there. And let's get over here and let's get him. Finally, here we have our Cape Buffalo. So got this guy in the left lung and the right lung. That is why he dropped on the spot. We haven't been getting double lung with the 300 on the Cape Buffalo, but that penetrated through both the lungs and almost came out the other end right there. But 37.56 on his genetics, he is a very good one to get out of that herd. One star adult with a total sale price of 590 and a trophy rating of 333.0. So like I said, that's pretty much gonna do it. We're gonna head to the lodge. Let's find a place to put this albino Cape Buffalo. Okay guys, so here we are in the trophy lodge and we're gonna go ahead and place our albino buffalo. So I think I'm gonna put him right up here. I was testing out some different spots. I thought about maybe putting him on one of these floor um, mounts here, but I think I wanna put him up here on this big rock. So I've actually already got it selected and everything like that. It does cost 8,000 to um, taxi him, but we're at 91,000 for our cash. We have some to play around with. So let's go ahead and do it. And there we have him, albino cape buffalo. And yeah, he looks really good up there. Like, as soon as you come into the um, the lodge here, he's just going to be looking at you. That looks so cool. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it here for this video, though. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.